work slop. So there was a recent uh, paper from Stanford that they thought that nearly 40 to 41% of all content in uh, the enterprise setting is work slop or AI generated content, um, which brings up a huge point uh, of effective working and the fact that this slop is out there in the world. What do you think about this? I feel like this gives AI a bad name, right? And we're giant proponents of the clever use of AI. And if you, yes. if if people use it poorly, they give it a bad name. Um, this this annoys me a little bit. If people are doing this and they're just dumping, you know, unchecked, uncritically thought about outputs with, you know, with an answer that had not enough context in the first place to be able to answer correctly, even with the best AI model, and then then dump, they're dumping huge long answers full of slop. To, you know, to the people asking the questions, of course, they're going to get frustrated. And, and the idea that, you know, each incident costs about two hours to fix, I suppose it depends how important the thing is that they're doing. Um, yeah. But I think, I think it's, you've got to look, this, this is a bit clickbaity, right? Like it's not, it's not 41% of all work. It's 41% of people saw something in the last month where they could say this was probably AI work slop, right? So, um, you know, we've got, we've got to realize that that's not that much really. Um, like, you know, we all use AI every day. I'm sure I've seen some poor use of AI, even at SSW. And so we're, we're moving now from a world of looking at pure sort of quality benchmarks of like, how well does it perform in a test if we're just testing it against itself versus how well does it, compo uh, does it complete an actual real world task compared to a human doing that same task? So, I mean, you, you know, you can see the AGI coming, right? You can smell the AGI uh, like we're starting to talk about this in a different way. AI is really good because a lot of enterprises and a lot of government institutions have a lot of what they call busy work where people have to do a report or a presentation and it doesn't necessarily add to the end result. And I'll give you a, a, an example is that um, uh, one of our coders who was really, really good at AI said, if it's really important, I will not vibe code it because I need to know where all the code is and to be able to debug it. So if it's really important, the human definitely needs to be involved, but if it's not that important, and if you have to do a report or something that's just sort of making up the numbers, you will just phone it in with a bit of AI. Now, some people are not phoning it in. They're actually just relying on the AI, which is always uh, a bit of a peril. But I know that if we um, had people working on a piece of big enterprise software that's worth a lot of money that they would not phone it in with AI. The vibe code can help them little parts of it, but there was no way that you wouldn't be all across the code 